in the greatest name of Almighty Allah, who is Rahman and Rahim. I am Dr. Najam Bagan, studying at Adam University, a school of medicine at Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. Today, I am going to tell you something about the sutures, epilepsy, and the first aid. Having a suture could be terrifying experience to any kind of patient or any kind of person. If you have a suture, there was a problem with uncontrollable, uncoordinated electrical activity in your brain. In general, we can say that the sutures can occur when too many of your brain cells become excited at the same time. And there are two main types of sutures which are found in a human body. Number one is the generalized type of the suture, and number two is the partial type of suture. In generalized type of the suture, the abnormal electrical activity is occurring on a both sides of the brain. Why? In a partial type of the suture, the abnormal electrical activity is occurring only on a one side of your brain. So generally we can say that the suture is commonly known as a fix that is occurring in your body by the abnormal electrical activities in a brain. Why the epilepsy is a condition that is characterized by the two or more intervals of these sutures in a human body? Seizures can happen in your body for many reasons. It could be number one, high level of sugar and salts into the bloodstream. Number two, brain injury from stroke or head injury. Number three, illegal drug use or withdrawal from alcohol. Number four, will be the brain problems or brain tumor dementia such as Alzheimer disease, high fever, infection, inflammation that can hurt your brain. So question arise in our mind that what are the signs and symptoms of the epilepsy. Out of them, number one is that there will be involuntary jerky movement in the body of the patient. And number two is the loss of consciousness and extremely tiredness after the seizure. And third one is the involuntary urination. And fourth one will be the tongue biting and fifth one will be the frothing through the mouth. The important thing is that don't be panicked. And number two point is that make a space around the patient. And number three point is that remove any sharp thing if patient possesses in his surrounding. And number three point is that note the time how long this suture is going on stop watch open. Okay. Point number four is that protect his head by putting something soft under his head. So I want to go and put my uh, soft thing in, in, under his head. Okay. Once the suture has been stopped, what we have to do? We just have to open his airway and after that we just have to check his breathing. If a breathing is going to be normal, what we have to do? We just have to put this patient under the recovery position. Okay. If suture will not be stopped, what we have to do, we just have to call the medical helpline in order to protect this person.